All right, hey guys, welcome back to another Solo Sunday. Today we're going to be playing a solo playthrough of Sky Tear Horde. So this is actually the um, new box and the second part of the series of Sky Tear Horde. Uh, Mon it's called Monoliths. So the first uh, version came out of, uh, last year and I didn't crowdfund it. I didn't know about it and then I figured out about it and so then I just bought it directly from the publisher. Enjoyed it quite a bit, but it felt it was a little hard. And so they did a lot and there was some like rules, weird rules things and stuff. So with the launch of the new campaign, they went back and revised a lot of stuff and I think the game feels much more uh, fair and balanced and stuff like that. I just probably wasn't very good at it. Um, so now we're back with the second part of the series, Monolith. It's its own standalone game. You can buy it by itself and play just fine, but it also integrates with the original. And so you just have more variety of stuff. So basically what this is is a kind of tower defense game. You're going to have a deck of uh, like your alliance deck, which is going to be your cards you can play. There's spells and allies and things like that. And you're going to fight these different monsters. And the ultimate goal of the game is to defeat the outsider. That's kind of our big boss. Um, and so throughout the game, a portal is going to be summoning monsters. We're going to have to deal with them. There's also these minions in the back. So I'll kind of go over things as the game is we're playing through the game. But we have a little few things on setup first. So we're going to be doing like kind of what the game suggests as the first game. Um, there are several different hordes, and the hordes we're using the monolith horde. So we're going to be doing that on like the. And there's five difficulty levels. We're on difficulty level two, which um, all the cards at the on the bottom have these symbols down here for what faction they are. And um, it, the easiest is like white or clear, and then there's white, and then there's pur black, and then there's purple. Um, so we're not using any of the black or purple cards. We're using white and gray or clear, whatever I said. And so we have a uh, so we're going to shuffle that up. We have this portal here that's going to be summoning monsters every round. So it starts with one, and then every turn it's going to go down. So the first turn one, then zero or one, and then two, zero, then two, and so on. When this is destroyed, it's we're going to place the outsider and bring the outsider in, and then this will flip over. And there are four stages to the to the um, portal. To win the game, we just need to defeat the outsider. So it's not we need to at least destroy this to bring the outsider in. But after that, we just need to defeat the outsider. This down here tells us our mana that we're going to gain every turn. The mana is what we're going to use to play stuff, and then this is the health of the portal. Um, and we're going to, and so normally you'd rotate the card, but the, this actually comes with a little tracker, so we're just going to move this around. So we'll start with the one, and the um, the uh, outsider we're going to be using, doing going against is the purple circle. And so, and it has one armor. We'll kind of get into that when it comes in, but it does have this text box at the top that says reinforce three at the start of the game. So the way the game starts is that these minions here, we they're they're kind of in the back line. They're kind of just messing with our stuff. We can fight them. Um, they all are all zero zero, but at the beginning of the game, they all get one health. And it says it gets plus one attack for each um, health token it has. And then if it ever has four or more attack, then um, it will gain trample and it's a pillager. So trample, kind of uh, explanatory if you know. Uh, Magic the Gathering, but it basically goes through stuff. So if it defeats an ally, any excess damage hits our castle. We lose the game if we run out of cards in our deck or our castle's health goes to zero. They all start at 20. So this is our tracker here. It's 10 plus 10. It goes down to zero. We'll flip this over. And then if this ever gets to zero, we lose the game. This is the tracker our mana. We can only have over 10 at the most, but we can carry it between rounds. Um, the castle we're using is this. Uh, we can exhaust it and pay mana to summon a troop token. Um... Also, you can you can also just ex exhaust and pay a mana, uh, you exhaust your castle and pay mana. Period to draw a card. Um, so anyway, let's kind of get back into it. So everything starts with a token here, a health token. But we're going to reinforce three, which means we have to reinforce these guys. So we're going to give the lowest health uh, minion a token, and then do that again, and then do that again. So that's the three. So basically, when they pillage, they're going to discard cards on the top of our deck if they're in the back line, equal to their attack. So if we don't bring them into fight, they're going to pill they're going to throw away seven cards. We have 40 cards in our deck, so it's something we don't really want to do. So I'll kind of get into stuff as as it goes on, but we're going to go ahead and get started here. I'm going to draw five cards, and this is going to be our opening hand. We can keep any number of these cards we want, and then discard anything if we don't, and then we can draw up back to five, and then shuffle those back in. So I kind of like the idea of this is interesting, mainly because we can bring in, we can do some damage to these guys. Um, I think I'm going to keep this hand, actually. So we're going to keep that hand. So let's go ahead and get started here. 
So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to gain mana. So it's mana is equal to this, so we're going to gain four mana. Then we're going to summon cards from the horde deck. And again, that's dictated by this. So we're going to summon one card here, and it's and it's this um, frost trench. So it's a spell actually. And then when you play it, the yet and our minions get plus two attack and one armor. So they're going to get plus two attack, making them four, which means they'll trample and they get armor. And this gets discarded when it's done. Then we're going to um, summon all the cards in the outsider pile. There are none, so we're going to avoid, we don't have to do that. And then we're going to rotate the portal 90 degrees. So instead of rotating, physically rotating the portal to put this up here, we're just going to move this token around. Now we are going to do the alliance phase, which means we can play cards and use exhaust abilities. And so here are some universal exhaust abilities. We can exhaust an ally to move it. So we can, we're going to play a card in one of these lanes. We can pick an ally. We can exhaust it to move it somewhere else. So if we had to play this ally here, we can exhaust this clan of the ice fish and move it here maybe. Um, because monsters, when they come in, they come into the leftmost spot. Then uh, we can exhaust two allies to swap them. So effectively moving, it's the same, but moving two. We can exhaust an ally to engage a monster in the back line. So if we play an ally, we can exhaust it and it'll bring and we can bring in one of these monsters up here. And then finally we can exhaust the castle and pay mana to draw a card. We only get to draw cards from that ability or if we defeat a monster, that's the only way we draw cards. So, it's kind of tricky. All right. Um, let's do this. So we're going to actually spend all four of our mana. We're going to play uh, four Leothin. So we can play it, pay X mana, summon X troops to the mana that we paid. Uh, then each ally gains plus one armor, temporary armor. So we're going to actually play play these four. So one, two, three, four. They're just one one. So they have one health and one uh, damage. They all do get a temporary um, armor, which is the, going to tank a hit. And then we're actually going to exhaust all four of them to bring everybody in. So we're going to bring this in, this in, and those in. So we're going to bring all that in. And then that's all we can do. <laughs> So we've brought all those in. If they're not up here, they won't pillage, which is the main main thing. I don't mind taking damage in the castle. So now that we've done all that, we're moving on to the treachery phase. The treachery phase is similar to like in Marvel Champions, we have a boost card. So you pull a card, and then if it's a star, it does something. If it's a uh, the boost icon, it does something. It attack, adds attack. That's very similar here. So we're going to resolve a treachery card. If you use um, any of those exhaust abilities, or you can play any of those cards that have that. So we're going to um, the treachery cards. We're going to flip this. If it's a fight uh, sword icon, it's going to plus one attack, temporary attack the right or leftmost um, monster, depending on what side this is on. If it's a lightning bolt, it'll do a lightning effect. It'll do an instant effect there. So it's going to plus one this guy temporarily. Then we're going to fight. So we're going to go left to right and fight everybody. Fighting simultaneous. So they're going to hit each other. Um, he's going to hit for one. He's going to hit for two, and I only has one health in the temporary, so he's defeated. They're going to fight. He's going to take that hit. He's going to defeat this guy. So this is just defeated. And then because it's defeated, we get to draw a card. They're going to fight. Same kind of thing. There, that one's gone. And then this guy's going to do going to do that. And then he's going to hit for five. We're going to tank one hit, have a health, and then three remaining is going to trample and damage the castle. And that's gone. So we still have this ally. He's got full health. So once we've resolved all of those um, fights, so resolve the horde fight effects, resolve ally uh, alliance fight effects. So if there's effects, we would do those, but there aren't any effects. And then allies and monsters strike each other. Then we're going to um, do that for every lane. And then um, after the pillage phase, so monsters in the back line pillage, and then minions return to the back line. So they're all going to go back. So goes here, goes here, goes here. Then we remove any temporary tokens, so this is gone. We would um, ready any exhausted cards, so that's going to be readied. We would um, discard cards down to seven if we had more, and then we're going to begin our next turn. So we're going to kind of go a little faster now, now that we've done all that. So, all right. So let's go ahead and begin. We're going to gain our mana. We're back to four. We're going to play a card here. It's going to be a plated monolith, so this is the first creature that we're bringing in. Um, when it fights, it's going to be... Um, Onikai minions are going to get one health and charge right, which means they're going to be pulled into the line to the uh, rightmost unengaged ally. So this guy comes in here, comes in the leftmost spot. Okay, so let's see what we want to do. Um, 
Well, I think we're going to spend four mana and we're going to bring in the Sky Terror Protector. So, uh, after you gain mana during the Alliance phase, Sky uh, Terror Protector gets plus one attack and plus one health, and then you can exhaust him to gain a mana. So, we're going to bring him in. We're going to exhaust him to gain a mana. He's going to get an extra health and an extra attack, and those are permanent. Um, if we lose health, then that just goes away. But and then we're going to spend the one mana we have left for last of the pack. After an ally is destroyed, last of the pack gets plus one uh, temporary armor. So we're going to place that in. And the question is, how do we want to bring these guys in? So this flips back over. So I think what we want to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to exhaust both of these. We're going to bring this guy into here. And we're going to bring this one into here. No, we're going to bring this one in. We'll take our time on the other guy. Okay, so now let's go ahead and move on to the um, treachery phase. This is a lightning bolt, so it's going to take effect. Play the Onikai minions, uh, or sorry, treachery minus one damage to the castle. So the castle's going to take a damage. All right, so fight. Onikai gets plus one and charges right. So they're already here, but they're going to get the plus one. We're going to do one damage to us, so this takes a damage. He's going to do uh, two damage to this guy. These two are going to fight. Um, they're going to take each other out. So that gets taken out. We get to draw a card. He gets defeated. Then his effect activates after an ally is destroyed. It gains uh, plus one of those. He's going to hit for two. He's going to hit for one. This takes this out. We block one, and then we take a damage. So we just net the one. And then he's going to pillage four. So one, two, three, four. Those get discarded from our deck. This will go back, we'll unexhaust, and we'll start the next round. Oh, this moved down. So now we're not gonna bring anything in. So now we've got kind of a turn to kind of reset a little bit. Let's gain our mana. Let's exhaust him to gain a mana, gain a health, and another attack. Okay, so we have um, five mana here to play with. We can bring in some more allies, which I think would be nice. Let's spend three, and we're going to bring in Clan of the Ice Fish. So um, re play remove one damage from an ally and remove uh, one damage from the castle. So let's remove the damage from him and bring it, uh, the castle up. We'll bring him into here. We're going to exhaust to engage this one. I think that's what I want to do. No, we're not going to do that, actually. We're going to engage this one. We're going to spend our remaining two mana for trappers. So uh, when it fights, remove one uh, remove one temporary attack from a monster. So this will actually be good to remove something when it's fighting, so long as it works. And then we're going to exhaust to bring this one in to there. Okay, so we're going to end our go with treachery card. Um, it's going to give plus one to the rightmost enemy temporarily, which we'll get to remove with this, which will be nice. But that comes in. We're going to fight here. Onikai is going to get plus one and charge right. Um, then we're going to take a damage. So the extra da thing that we got is there, but then this is defeated. So since this is destroyed, we'll get to draw a card. It's going to do two to us here, and we're going to do one back. This is going to do one damage straight to the uh, portal. And then he's going to strike. We're going to remove this. He will attack for uh, four. He'll do for three. He tanks one hit and takes two hits. And then he does four. It takes him out, and then we lose two health on there. Okay. So those go back. That goes back. That gets moved up. And we'll start our next turn. So two cards now come in. We have a spell here, a Stone Trampler. Uh, the Radamil minions get plus three, plus two, and charge the weakest ally. So the weakest ally is going to be the one with the least amount of health, which will be this one. It's plus three. Oh, wrong token. Plus three, plus two temporarily. I guess he, he would have got the temporary thing for him being defeated, but it doesn't matter. It goes away. Next card we're going to play 
is going to be Unburied Monolith, Fight, Pillage a Card, and Radamel Minions gain plus one health. So that's going to come into there. So we'll just probably end up taking him out. Let's get our stuff here. Okay. So we're going to exhaust. We'll gain ourselves a health here. Gain another attack. i got to see what strongest means from a um, strongest card. It's with the highest attack after all modifiers and tokens. Okay, so we're gonna spend five, because we have five. I didn't move that up here. Because we've got the one from this. To bring in the Spring Watch. So at play, if Spring Watch is your strongest ally, gain a mana. Now, strongest is highest attack after modifiers. They both have four, so we're gonna choose. He is our strongest, so we're gonna gain him a uh, mana for that. We're gonna exhaust and spend that mana, exhaust our, um, we're gonna exhaust this and spend our mana to bring in a troop token and it comes in exhausted. Okay, we're going to um, exhaust him to bring in this guy. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, end our go. So treachery card, it's gonna give an attack to him temporarily. So uh, we're gonna pillage a card and then the Radamil minions get plus one. He is going to uh, attack us for one. We're gonna attack him for uh, four, so he's defeated. We'll draw a card. Hit the uh, portal for one. He's gonna hit him for one. That gets taken off. He's gonna strike back for four, which is gonna um, overkill with trample because he's got four and, and we're gonna take two damage here. This is gone. He's gonna hit for four. Um, and he's going to hit for two. So these two get put here. But he breaks through because he only has two health. He's defeated. We're going to draw a card. He's going to go through for one on the portal. And then they're going to pillage one. And then we're going to end the go. This goes back. Full health. Unexhaust. Okay. Nice. All right. This gets unexhausted. We're going to begin the next round. We're going to bring one in. It's going to be um, Fire Breather. It's mo um, it's a spell. Play the Onikai minion. Uh, Onikai minions get plus two and strike the castle. So they're going to get plus two and hit the, strike the castle. They're going to hit the castle directly, putting it down to ten health. Okay. All right, we're at four mana. Okay, so I think this might be a good move to kind of... We're going to spend three of our mana to bring in the uh, Granary. So we play it to draw a card, and then it says, it said, place pillage cards beneath Granary. When there are ten or more cards beneath Granary, shuffle them into the owner's deck and discard Granary. So we're going to place that here in this lane. We're going to draw a card with that effect. Let's go ahead and exhaust uh, Sky Tear Protector to gain a mana. He'll gain a health and another attack. Then, let's spend our last two to bring in Freyhel. So she says, after you remove one or more uh, damage from an ally or the cat from the castle, deal one damage to any monster. And then we can exhaust her to um, uh, take a, uh, remove a damage from an ally. So we've got that. Let's go ahead and exhaust the troop to bring in this guy. We're going to exhaust this to heal one from here. It's going to deal damage to this. And I think that's all we're going to do, actually. Or do I want to bring this in? Actually, we'll exhaust and bring this in to there. Okay. So now we are going to begin. We're going to do a treachery card. Um, he'll get plus one attack. We're gonna hit for five, this gets destroyed. So now that this is destroyed, we're gonna reinforce two. So that gets there, that gets there. And we're gonna put the outsider into the outsider pile. So that's gonna go there. And then we're gonna flip this over. We're gonna hit uh, for one. He's gonna hit for three, destroying this. We're gonna hit one directly to the portal. Portal now has 8 health and will give us 6 mana every turn. 
We're going to hit for four on the portal. We're going to, he's going to do four damage, so it's going to trample. So we're going to take three, one, two, three, and then one damage to this. And that's going to be it. And then we're going to pillage two cards. Those get put underneath here because of that. That goes back. That goes, oh, wrong spot. That goes back. Okay, so now we're going to um, unexhaust everything. We remove temporary tokens. Okay, so we're going to gain our mana now. We're going to go up to six. We're going to summon a card, cards from the horde decks. So that's two now. We have a frost trench. It's a spell. Uh, yet Nermanians get plus uh, three plus one. So they're going to get plus three. And then plus one uh, of these. And then the next one's going to be uh, Stone Bombs. It's an attachment. Play Ratner minions gain plus three and attach this to them. And then this is attached monster gains pillage. This pillage is three cards and gets minus one health. So these guys, oh my goodness, these guys are chunky. Okay, and then now this is new. We're going to summon every card from the outsider pile. So now the model is going to get summoned. It's going to have nine health and armor one. It's going to go here. Okay, so I think at this point we might just let them pillage because this is going to be kind of a lot. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to exhaust to gain a mana. So we're at seven mana. We're going to give him an attack and a health. So we'll be able to go through that pretty easily. Um, let's see. Let's exhaust one and this to draw a card. And we're going to play our six to play Field Commander. So we can choose one. Everybody gets one attack or everybody uh, gets one uh, temporary defense and then or one temporary armor. And we can exhaust him to ready another ally. So let's bring him in here. We're going to give everybody a temporary attack. We're going to exhaust him to ready him and then exhaust him again to give him another attack and another health. And gain a mana. And then let's spend our uh, mana to play another Last of the Pack. We'll play him there. And we can bring these guys in and engage with them. I don't think that would be terrible. Let's exhaust to remove a damage from here. And we can do a damage to this. So this takes that. You know what? I think it's fine. We're just gonna we're just gonna keep it moving. So let's go ahead and start the round. So we're gonna flip this over, um, pillage two cards. So we're gonna pillage two. And they're gonna go to that. He's going to attack for zero. We're gonna attack for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he's gonna take seven damage. The armor has already been used. We're gonna hit one on the monolith, or on the on the uh, portal. We're going to hit two on the portal. This portal is destroyed. We get to draw a card and rebuild four, which means we can take four cards from our disc problem and put them on the bottom of our deck. I think I want that, that. I mean, it doesn't even super matter. But we're going to put those on the bottom. The next portal comes in. So stage three, it's going to give us six mana, has eight health. Uh, when it's destroyed, draw a card and remove two damage from the castle. It's going to hit for five. So I can do five damage to the portal. It's going to hit for four. It's going to destroy the portal. We're going to draw a card and remove two damage from the castle. Last side comes in. And it says, um, if the portal would be damaged, rebuild two or remove one damage from the castle instead. Then that's going to happen. Then he's going to pillage for f um, attached. So it's going to do five. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then it's going to pillage three cards. So one, two, three. Lose a health. This effect takes place. We're going to shuffle this back in. He's going to pillage one. He's going to pillage two. And he's going to pillage four. Okay, so let's remove temporary tokens. 
on exhaust. Let's begin our next turn. All right, so nothing happens here. We're going to move that down. We're going to gain three mana. Let's exhaust him to gain a mana, give him health, give him an attack. We're going to spend the four to bring in a Sky Protector. We're going to exhaust him, gain a mana, give him an attack and a health. And while we're at, we'll just engage everybody. So we'll engage him. Whoops. Engage. All right, and we're going to end our go. So we're going to flip a card. Um, the portal gets plus one health. We're going to attack. This is defeated. Um, we're going to do two. He'll be defeated. He'll, ta um, he'll take. They're going to defeat each other. We'll draw a card. Four and four, they're gonna defeat each other. We'll draw a card. And then three. And um, so it's gonna do three, oh, it's gonna do two damage. And he's gonna hit back for four, which is gonna leave me one health. And then he's gonna do two damage to the thing, which is gonna let us remove a damage from the castle. And the game is over. We defeated the uh, Outsider, and that's going to be the game. So that is Sky Tier Horde. The cool thing about this game is that so we have a bunch of pre-constructed decks. There's eight now with the two sets. There's a ton of, there's like eight or so. There's eight or so. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different um, hordes. There's a ton of Outsiders. So like the Outsiders from the original game have, they're called, um, they're, they've renamed them Immortal Outsiders, so they have different stages. So you fight them and fight them again. There are the, um, these these Outsiders here that kind of are just this big thing that are a pain in the butt. And then there are these these ones that are, that are multiple cards. So like, oh, wait a minute. Actually, that's the wrong one. Where's the other side of this? So they're like multiple cards long. Anyway, I think that might be the one to it. So they're, they're, they're yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Because this guy goes on top. So like image-wise, you can tell he kind of goes on top. But this is, um, so you have like outright out, outsiders that are like three cards long. So there's a bunch of variety in here. There's a bunch of stuff you can do. And then each castle, so like on the back of the castle, you can actually pre-construct, you can make different decks. So it says deck building rules. You must have frail, and it's 39 of the cards. You may include bane and uh, include base and rare um, allies of any uh, any color, except you cannot include any shadows nor amika uh, akimo. In addition, follow these restrictions. You can have two legendary blue heroes, um, six mythic blue heroes. Um, any no um, rare cards, you can have any blue or green, but it can only be two copies of it. And then for the base cards, you can have uh, three copies of any blue green or yellow card so we can you can construct decks and make them multicolored. and like i said though there's two pre-constructed decks of every color so you have quite a bit of um you've got quite a bit of uh of options there for that so there's, there's a lot going on here so i think i want to make sky tear a regular appearance on the channel maybe even do some pre-constructed or do some uh, custom constructed decks or find some online but yeah, this game's great. If you're a solo player, if you like Marvel Champions, I think this is a really good game for a uh, similar vein. There's a ton of villains that are like uh, outsiders of the fight. There's a ton of modularity in the, um, in the uh, what do you call it, in the horde deck. And you can even adjust the difficulty of the horde decks. And then there's a ton of cards here to work with to kind of pre-construct stuff or make your own. And then there's a ton of these. There's like four castles of each color, I believe. So that would be 16 castles total, yes. So you have a bunch of options. They all have their own rules on the back, although they may be sort of similar, but they each have their own sort of rules on the back. So uh, if you want to make a pre-construct or you want to make your own custom deck. So that's going to be it. That is Sky Tier Horde. Let me know what you guys think. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.